All right, well, this, um, this of course, is the uh, original front of the house. It, when, we, when this was first built, it had um, a veranda, and that was replaced with this uh, porch and uh, sun lounge. We're looking northward here from what is now Cloverbar Road or 101st Avenue. On the left, which would be at the west end of the property, is some kind of a structure that I don't recognize. It looks like it maybe is a newer piece of property because of the architectural components. There was some kind of building here. Uh, I don't know if it may have been a kind of an area where they made butter and cheese or something like that, or whether it was a sort of garage for their, some of their vehicles. But I have no idea what it was, and I never had a chance to ask. Uh, the, um, I assume that the uh, color here was green, because when I repainted the house from time to time, uh, as you cut off, scrape off the, the paint, you find a bit of green flex underneath. So I think it was originally green. That, I'm not quite sure. Uh, with regard to the plants, uh, who knows? They could be any kind of flowers <laughs> and the bushes. In between the house, and the barn is some other structure that probably has something to do with the manure disposal operation. It's pretty hard to tell here what that could be. This is a cattle barn. The cattle barn housed about 50 cattle. Entrances at the back on both sides. The cattle came twice a day for milking and knew their own spot in the barn and always took the correct place. The barn provided them with hay that was stored in the hayloft and water that was delivered from a well up in this area somewhere. Uh, I did decide to alter a little bit the hedge in the original photograph it looked as if those cows were standing on the hedge. And so I tried to, to add in what looks like a bit of a field for the cows to stand on <laughs> or in. And so they wouldn't be directly on top of the hedge. But, uh, that's because cameras are a bit deceitful. Artists they don't lie, of course, they're honest people. This building would have something to do with the processing of the milk and cream. I'm not sure why it's as large as it is, but you can see that there was a water pump, and the purpose of the water pump was to bring cold water in so that the morning and evening milkings could be equalized in temperature before shipment. The cattle are authentic, black and white Holstein cattle, which is what he had. And I don't know what else this barn was used for, but I do know that things like the milking machine apparatus and the cream separators and that kind of thing were housed in here. The car at the far end, I couldn't, I didn't know what sort of car it was, and I couldn't even be sure if that was the front end of the car or the back end. So I just painted it and could be either. And uh, this uh, wagon here with the horses was not here at all. This was downtown in, one, in Edmonton. And uh, the man where Mr. Morris was delivering milk, apparently. And it has uh, Alberta Dairy on it. So that sort of covers most of the uh, painting and what I could do about it. It's reasonably authentic apart from those few little 
bit. So I did add one or two extra cows. There's only one cow in the photograph. So I cheated a little bit. This is a storage building where the milk and products were stored prior to shipment to the dairy. And to my old eye, it looks very authentic. And I think it's probably a pretty good representation of what actually occurred or what actually existed in the 1930s.